Hi, I'm Stock Investor Davis. Welcome to the channel and please subscribe. Let's take a look at Supermicro. They recently came out with their 1231 earnings on January 29th. Their next reported earnings we're estimating will be released on 429-2024. So right now our goal is just to come up with a fair valuation for this company. It's been growing tremendously. So we wanna just look at what its current price to earnings valuation looks like what its guidance will look like going ahead, which they've given us some estimates of what it will do for its physical year 2024. We'll just compare those two, the now to what it's projected in the future. Then we'll apply our findings to its technical analysis. And then lastly, I wanna close with a multiple adjustment, especially for those who've seen my previous valuation video for Supermicro. I have made an adjustment. If you wanna stick around for that, that'll be at the very end. Starting with its current price to earnings valuation, we have at the top its current trailing 12 months earnings per share of $12.79. In the top right, we have the four quarters that make up that $12.79. And the biggest change that we have here is its price to earnings multiple, which we will cover at the very end if you want to stick around for that. So we're gonna now have a low price to earnings of 69 and a high of 88. Now, this is using the average of other companies that have a similar situation as Supermicro. And so if we take those multiples, apply it to its current earnings per share, we have a fair valuation range of between $883 and $1,126, making the current price of $880 seem to be a good deal. Projecting ahead and looking at management's guidance, they tell us that for its physical year end 2024, that they're planning on making between 14.3 and $14.7 billion in revenue. So we're just gonna take the midpoint of those two figures to have a year end sales of $14.5 billion. If we use its margins based on past performance, we're estimating that net income will be about $1.1 billion. With its current shares outstanding of 60.1 million, we end up with an earnings per share of $18.15 by that year end, which is probably about 6.30, so earnings would come out around 7.29. If we use our PE ratio of 69 and 88, that gives us an updated uh, fair value range between 1,252 and 1,597, leaving us with the price right now of $880, looking like a really good time to pick this up. Here is just a quick comparison. We have at the top what we went over for its current price to earnings fair valuation. And then on the bottom, we have what its physical year end for 2024, what that fair valuation might look like in about six months. Now, when we apply our findings to its technical chart, we can see the green boxes at the very top. Those would indicate times where I'd be more interested to pick this up. And then the red boxes on the very top, those would be the times that at this point, I'd be looking to maybe take some profits. So I put those pink stars there just to kind of show this is the price to earnings uh, fair value range that I'm focusing on right now. Uh, and the whole reason behind this adjustment is because of how quickly the stock has ran up. Uh, really over the past month, it went from less than $400 to now it's almost $900 in literally less than a month. So that really caused me to look into a multiple adjustment, how to value this one better. And uh, that's what we're going to go over here next. Now that we've covered its current technical chart, I just wanted to share what what led to this adjustment as we saw that technical chart how it really was going like straight up uh, especially over the past month really going from less than 400 to now over 800 closing in on 900 uh, the the previous price to earnings multiple i had in place I, I was using other similar companies within its sector to try to get an understanding of how to judge this one because it's just it, its earnings multiple has shot up so much relative what it's done in the past and now it's even just far exceeding even its competitors so i dug into all the companies that i currently follow there's about 30 of them 
And the two that came the closest in terms of what Supermicro is currently doing happens to be Amazon and Tesla. So we have in that top chart, we have Amazon on the left, Tesla on the right, and then Supermicro is right down the middle in blue. So what I want to focus on is those three uh, rows at the very bottom. We have its gross margin percentage, its operating margin percentage, and its net income percentage. So we can, these are the ones that most look like Supermicro. So Supermicro has that 16% gross margin. That's what Amazon has. Tesla has 18%, so right in that ballpark. Operating margin, Supermicro has 9%. Amazon has six, Tesla has nine. So again, right in that ballpark. Then net income percentage, Supermicro at 8%, Amazon at five, Tesla at 15. Tesla, I, I probably could adjust that down because I know Tesla has a tax provision that boosted that up. But as you can see, the gross margins are right there in line, operating margins are in line, and net income is also within fair range too. So we're gonna focus on these two as, it's, as we look at Supermicro's multiple. So now looking at the bottom, and this is where Supermicro could actually far exceed this fair valuation. But for now, we're gonna run with this because it's the best we have. It's, it's what we can use to at least have some support to this decision. So on the bottom, the bottom chart, we have Tesla at the top. They currently have a fair valuation range between 60 as a low and 80 as a high. And then Amazon at the bottom, I probably will dig into this just to confirm the range, but Amazon for the most part, they ask for a 78 uh, price to earnings multiple to a high of 95. That seems to be its fair value range. So how I came up with Supermicro's updated uh, price to earnings multiple is I, I'm just taking the average of those two companies. Because again, they, based on its earnings and margins, very similar. So it only would make sense that Supermicro can ask for the same type of multiple. The one reason why Supermicro could uh, clear these types of earnings multiples is if we look at those pink columns, that represents its revenue for, or its projected revenue for 2024 and its growth percentage compared to last year. And so highlighted in blue, we have Supermicro going from last year, it put up $7.1 billion to now it's projecting about $14.5 billion. That's over a hundred percent growth for not such a small company. And if we compare that to Tesla and Amazon, Tesla is projecting about 21% growth in its revenue, which is still very good for a company that large, $96 billion. And then Amazon, it's projecting 8% growth on $622 billion. So again, Supermicro is going 100% revenue growth. Now I realize that won't last forever, but for right now, that is the situation. So we could easily see Supermicro go into the hundreds. I wouldn't even be surprised. But for now, this is the range that I'm going to go with. I'm going to work with it. It again, it has some support here. And uh, that's kind of enough for me. If you want to share any insights or any opinions on uh, maybe another company that kind of lines up, I can look into it. Well, that wraps this one up. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching and remember to subscribe.